Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. Remember, this show is about your health and about your life. No one, and let me tell you, no one can help you take responsibility for your health but you. You have to take responsibility for your health, no matter what. Remember, the doctor can't do it for you, your friends, your family members, your coworkers. No one can take responsibility for your health but you. So it all lies in your hands. The great thing about this show is we're going to help you make better choices. Choices with the things you eat every single day, with exercise, whatever it is. Making better choices every single day, it's the absolute key. Now, you can call Anytime you want, okay? The number is 888 It's on the number. It's on the, should be on the screen. You should be able to see it. Give us a call. Go to the website, asarx.com. That's asarx.com. And we'll do anything we can to help you. Remember, social media, whatever it is, reach out to us. We've got people that DM us on Instagram, of course, Twitter. Whatever you want to do to reach out to help us, go to that next level with your health. We are going to be here to help you, to get in the trenches with you. Whatever it is, we want to help you get there. Remember... Your choices every single day are what matters. Your genetics, family history, it's got a little bit that it plays a role, okay? It does, but not a whole lot. The family history is not really the family history, okay? The family history is really more about what you have been eating and the the casserole recipes and things that have been passed down from grandma to mom to you, and, and now you're passing it on to your kids, okay? That's really the family history that we're talking about. And it's the lack of exercise and inactivity and, you know, whether or not people are active. As kids, we always ran around, right? But now we've got video games and we've got the phones and and you see everybody in a restaurant. You go there and, and people are just sitting. They're not even talking and communicating anymore. So it's about activity. And on this show, we want to help you get there. We want to make, help you make real good choices. So reach out, connect any way you want to, call us, text us, whatever. Text number is, is also at the website. Go to asarx.com and check that out. We're going to get on the phones first and go with Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Yes, I would like to know if my husband, being a diabetic and the medications that he takes, uh, some of them are prone to yeast. And is that transferable to me when we're uh, sexually active? Is it possible that a reoccurring yeast infection is happening uh, from possibly a semen? Uh, just curious about that because we're constantly treating yeast infection, mostly me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, it just feels like it's after uh, intercourse a day or so. Uh, just want to know about that, okay. as well as know about uh, if medication for diabetes, if it is to regulate constant urination, uh, or does it seem like it's an imbalance if you're still constantly having to go to the bathroom? Okay. Uh, but you're on medication and taking it regularly and having it adjusted periodically. Okay. So a couple things you want to think about, and, and this is really important. When it comes to constant yeast infections that recur over and over again, it's not so much the, the intercourse that's going to be the creator of that, okay? It's, it's really more about what's going on in your digestive tract and his digestive tract because yeast, all that, candida begins in the gut it always starts in the gut so wherever you have it even if you're having constant yeast infections you know in that area you've always got to kind of get to the root cause of it because the root cause is usually not there the root cause is usually in the gut and that's what you have to go after so candida and yeast can build up in the body matter of fact it does with most people especially if you eat a high carbohydrate diet a lot of sugars in the diet that kind of thing and it can really wreak havoc it can, and and it can lead to other things too, which is a big challenge. So what I would look at doing is there's a couple things. Not, number one is you want to go to more of a ketogenic diet for a period of time. I'm a huge fan of the keto diet for a lot of reasons. It resets the metabolism in a lot of ways, and it helps, of course, with losing weight. But it also helps in this situation where you have an excess buildup of yeast. So anytime you've got any kind of culprits in the gut or the digestive tract, you want to be able to clear that out. And 
there's nothing better of doing that than the ketogenic diet. So the keto diet is basically really simple. You eat a certain amount of carbohydrates, which it needs to be in the form of mostly vegetables. Because if you, even if you do fruits, it's got too much of a, it's got too much fructose, which is a fruit sugar that can take you out of a state called ketosis. And I've got more of this on my website. You can go to asrx.com to get more of the details about keto. Now, it's important too to get to that level. And of course, you've got to have someone help you. I'm, I'm a big fan of of having some type of health coach provider work with you in this. And, of course, we have a team of those that can help you. Just reach out to our office, and we can help you with that and guide you, and it kind of holds you by the hand, if you will. But it's important when you do keto to have someone that guides you because there's, there's different phases of it that people don't really talk about, okay? Like there's the, the keto stall, and there is the keto flu, where you can feel almost like you have the flu when you first start because the body's in such a transition. So there's several things you gotta think about. So don't just jump and dive into it, but it's a great way to clear things out, okay? Now, the second thing about it that's really important to, to get is that if you don't want to go that route and you say you just want to eat more of an anti-inflammatory based diet, which is in my book, and by the way, you can go to our website right now. We've got a complete free offer and you can get the book absolutely free, hardback copy, mailed right to you. Just cover the shipping and the handling. We're giving the, the books away for free right now. It's a complete offer. I've just, so many people have reached out to us from all over. We did it for like a short period of time and we just got bombarded. I mean, we had to order tons more books just to be able to cover everybody. So we're still keeping that up. People still seem to be loving that. So we've kept that up. So go to the website, asarx.com, and and you can check that out and get a copy. But here's the thing. If you're eating the anti-inflammatory diet, which is in my book, okay, if you're eating that, that in itself is going to help in a slow way get rid of the yeast and fungal issues out of the gut, histamine, all the excess inflammation that's there, it can really help. Okay, so that's where I would start in that journey. If you're looking at supplements and you're thinking, okay, what can I use? Oil of oregano is phenomenal when it comes to yeast. One of the best. So oil of oregano, turmeric is very good when you're dealing with something like this. And also probiotics. Don't forget that it's an imbalance in the bacteria in the gut itself many times that's a culprit in the cause when you're dealing with yeast. So when you've got consistent recurring yeast infections, just know that typically for the most part, things you're doing every single day are facilitating that. Things you're doing mostly, I mean, the things you're eating, the things you're doing is helping to make that either worse, either throwing water on it or you're putting gasoline on it, okay? And so you gotta make sure you're putting water on it so you put the fire out. That's just a major part of this. So I would get started in one of those paths. And I mean, if you need help, one of our health coach providers can always, you can just call call a number and, and we'll get somebody on it to help you. But that's the biggest key. One of the main things you got to look at is you can't keep doing the same thing that you're doing, if that makes sense. You have to get to a place where you clear out the gut. I personally, keto is a great way to go. It's a little extreme for people. It can be tough. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have to choose something different than what you're doing now, right? Because it's not working. It's, and it's for both of you. So it's not like it's just you and not him. Typically, it can be both, and, and you've got to look at that. And then you asked the other question about the medication. Typically, not so much, okay, on that. So the main thing is with diabetes, again, if you go keto and anti-inflammatory diet, those paths that you're working on for the, the issue with, uh, you know, the yeast, it's going to help with diabetes too, because the same process that you're working on in the gut by eating equal amounts of lean protein sources like chicken, fish, beef, or eggs, healthy fats, you know, avocados, nuts, seeds, and then, you know, mostly vegetables. When you're doing that, cutting down the inflammation, guess what? You're regulating blood sugar. And when you regulate blood sugar, you cut down the yeast in the body, and that makes a huge difference. Many people with diabetes struggle with yeast-related issues. Okay. I hope that helps. This is Asa Rx. My name is Asa. I'm a three-time physician and I'm so excited to be here with you just to help you, encourage you just to know that we're going to march with you no matter what you're dealing with. Okay. Whatever you come in this with, whatever you've come here with, whatever you're struggling with, just know that you don't have to stay in it. Just know that you don't have to stay where you are. That if you've been given a diagnosis that's really, really tough and you're struggling more than ever, know that there's a way out. There's hope. There's not just a place where you have to stay stuck and in, in, in a rut. That you can really, you can climb your way out. You gotta have the right knowledge. You gotta have the right tools. You gotta have the right skills to be able to get out. But I'm telling you, there's answers. 
You don't have to be stuck. You don't have to stay. We can put you in a place, give you the right tools, and give you the ability to really go to the next level with your health and your life. Is that what you want? It's what I want. Every single day. You know, there's, there's a thing we talk about here, of course, on the show, but it's a, it's a core message of our company. And it's, it's to become the best version of you, to be all you can be. And that's what we want for everyone. And the reason I think I'm so big on that for everyone is because I'm big on that for myself. I push my, on myself every single day. If I'm not being my best version, if I'm not disciplined every single day, if I'm not making the right choices every single day, then I'm hard on me. So I have to be hard on me if I'm gonna be hard on you. Now, I'm gonna love you through it. It's gonna be a tough love, but I wanna see everybody really thrive. I wanna see everybody get to a place where they're not stuck. I want to see everybody get to a place where they've never been. So when it's 40 pounds that you need to lose or it's 100 pounds that you need to lose or you're 500 pounds and you feel like there's no way out, that you're almost bed bound and exercise seems so far away and and eating healthy seems so far away and the doctors have kind of written you off or if they've given you stage four cancer and they, they just put you in hospice and that's it. Look, I'm telling you, don't ever, ever, ever give up. Don't ever lose hope. Don't ever lose faith. Don't ever lose the belief that you know on the inside that your body has the ability to heal itself. More than anything here on this show, one of my big things is educate, not medicate. Now, I'm not against medications at all. We need them. But education is the key. If you have the knowledge and you can have the power and the ability to change, and that's what I want to see for each and every one of you is to know that you can change, that you can rise up, that you can be better, and that you can be different. This is Asa Rx. You have the ability to go to the next level with your health and your life. Let's jump in on. I've got an email. I've got June in Rome, Georgia. It says I need to lose about 95 pounds. Is there any way to lose four to five pounds a week? Now, let me just say this to you, okay? So, June, when it comes to losing weight, if you want to do it in, in a healthy way, which I'm sure you do, right? You want to do it in a healthy way. You want to focus in on. I like starting out with the ketogenic diet, the keto diet, when it's that much weight. And my good friends at Keto Chow, they are amazing. They make doing keto so easy. Like that's their whole thing, is they make doing it, make it doing it so easy. So we've set up a system by doing keto. Of course, Keto Chow, it, they've got all these great, great meal replacements. It's, it's like a whole food nutrition supplement, and it's amazing. It's so easy. So you do that, you, you know, a few of those and a couple of keto meals, and you're good to go for the day. And everything tastes great, and you're not hungry, and you feel great, and you have more energy, and, 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 and. <laughs> so in your journey, one of the best things to do is to do something completely different than what got you to 95 pounds. Because what got you to 90, 95 pounds is not going to take you down to your fighting weight, if you will. So the ketogenic diet's a great way to start out. And, of course, you need guidance. Get with one of our health coach providers. We'll walk you through that. But I like to do it in stages. So keto's really good for an initial phase where you're getting your body down. You're getting it into, a, into a, kind of a fat-burning fighting methodology where it's going to start to work very well. Okay? The weight's going to start to come down. Then... It happens to everybody. You're going to hit a plateau. So one thing you've, you've got to balance out. I like to do keto for a while, but make sure you have to get these things in. I like lean quality proteins, okay, like chicken, fish, beef, or eggs, and the healthy fats, almonds, walnuts, avocados. It's not just junk fat. I'm a big believer in, in doing the healthy fats, some saturated fat, egg yolks, and, and, and organic butter. Those kind of things are fantastic. Okay, coconut oil, big fan. But it's it's getting the right kind of foods in. But vegetables are a key. You can only do so many because you've got to keep the carbs under a certain amount for your body type. However, going that phase, doing it in the initial phase is great. Then we move into more of an anti-inflammatory based diet. Again, our health coach providers can help you do that. But four to five pounds a week is okay at some points because the body will just drop. But remember, healthy weight loss is about one to two pounds a week on average. Like, because the main goal here is that you want to maintain all your lean muscle that you have. Whatever that is, however much that is, you want to maintain that. And the slower you drop the weight, the more you're going to maintain the lean mass, the more your body's going to actually adapt and do really, really well with that. So the more you can kind of manage that and go slower, 
you're actually going to fare better in the long run. Remember, health always, no matter what, just remember this is that health is always a marathon. Now, I'm a sprinter by nature. I don't like marathons. Marathons wear me out, okay? But I know this health thing, it's a marathon. And it'll be a marathon for you. You just got to realize that. But it'll be a great journey. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. Your health is your greatest wealth. I'm so glad you're with us. My name is Asa. I'm a three-time physician, and more than anything, I'm your friend. I'm going to take you by the hand, walk with you in this journey called health, because really, if you lose your health, I was talking to somebody the other day, if you lose your health, what do you have? And for those that, that have tons of money or they've been very successful, take that person and get them to lose their health, and they've lost everything. They'll spend every dollar that they have just to get their health back. That's because our health is our greatest wealth and nothing replaces great health. I mean, that gives you the energy to play with your kids or your grandkids. It gives you the vitality to have relationships, passion in your relationships rather than being so tired and exhausted all the time, right? So it gives you the enthusiasm to be able to to just have what you want in life. And, you know, one thing I've got to get in your mind, and of course I tell myself this all the time, but don't ever, don't ever get hung up on your age. Like, I really want to hit on that for just a minute. Like, don't get hung up on your age. This age thing is, is really got people bogged down of what you can do. I mean, Tom Brady is such a great example. I love what's happening right now in the sports world. Like, I love it. Like, there's so many competitors that are not accepting the age that's been given to them by society, meaning... Uh, obviously, you know, 55 is 55 or 65 is 65. But what about, what about performance and longevity? What about what we learned in science? Okay. We're learning right now more than ever. So your age, I want you to take, take this one thing away from what I'm telling you right now is do not define your ability or your capability by your age. Your age will not define what you do, nor do you let society and what they say about the age bracket tell you what you can do or what you can't do. From now on, I want you to take your age and and be irrelevant in that in your head and in your heart, because whatever starts in your head is going to go in your heart. And I want you to focus in on what you want to do, who you want to be, and what you want to accomplish where you are right now. Because remember, I've got a very good friend of mine, he's a pastor. And he, he taught me something that's really, when it hit me, I'm like, and of course, I've got such a science background, I've got three doctorates, and I understand from that perspective, but he's like, you know, time is not linear, it's circular. And if you really look at it, the aging process is happening, but we're just spinning in a circle. Like if you look at yourself, you're, you're still doing the same things you were doing 10 years ago, eating at the same restaurants, working out at the gym, running on the track, dr- you know, just you're driving, may dr- drive a different car, skin may look a little bit more wrinkled, whatever, but, but the age, it, we're, we're just, we're spinning. And so if you look at it like that, look at what's happening. So you got... A guy that's 45, you know, now going to be the oldest quarterback ever in the NFL, has won more championships than anybody else. And I, I've got this gut feeling, I don't know, but a guy like Brady, Betty won't even stop till he's 50 just to make a point. You've got guys like Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, which were great heavyweight champions in their day, right? So we've got all the sports people talking about in their day. Now they're coming out with these exhibition matches. And it's not just, you know, Mary Poppins out there just kind of wandering around and, and punt. It's the, it, they're fighting again. These guys are training like animals at 57 and 58 and 55. I love it. Because they're not letting the age, you, you know, you hear these, these tales and these stories of, of people that go and, and, they, and they, they defy things. I mean, Jack LaLanne, when he was in his 80s, he got in the channel in New York, right? And he had like all these tugboats and he had chains running through his mouth or around his head or his neck or whatever. And he, he swam through the channel pulling all these tugboats in his 80s. So you have people like that 
that don't let age become a factor that they're going to push through. They're going to complete, they're going to do no matter what. They're continually pushing to be the best version of themselves. And, and here in this space and in my world, and if you're in the ASA world, okay, that's what we're going to push you to do. Everybody in this company, everybody in this team, everybody in this message is about pushing you to be your best version. Because I promise you, I know one thing. I know one thing about you right now, and I know this. I know that whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you are, whatever you've done to come to the point where you are, you've got three different conditions, medical conditions that have been diagnosed. You got stage four cancer, you got stage one, you got COPD, you got depression, you got anxiety, you got ADHD, you know, you're in, in college, you're trying to figure it out, you have no attention. You're doing terrible on your test. Whatever you've got going on in your life. I know one thing about you is that you have not even scratched the surface of your potential. Am I right? If you take deep inventory right now with that, I want you just to raise your hand wherever you are and say, I have done everything to reach my potential. And if you're at the sound of my voice, you're watching on video, radio, audio, podcast, whatever, I guarantee you, you're not raising your hand because none of us have. And none of us push to the level that we need to push every single day to become the best version of us. But on this show, we're gonna help you do that. I'm gonna give you the tools, the capability and everything you need to be able to maximize that. My name's Asa, I'm so glad you're with us. This show's all about you, it's about your health, it's about your life because remember, no one can help take responsibility for your health but you, you can always give me a call here on the show, on the screen right there, wherever. Go to the website, asarx.com. Reach out to me in any way you want to. Be a part of the show in any capability. 888-283-7272, that's the number. You can always give me a call, 888-283-7272. Let's get on the phones and go with Travis. Hi, Travis. My best friend has um, uh, kidney failure, and his uh, efficiency is down to... Uh, about a 10. Uh, now, about 10 years ago, he had a 10, and we were able to get that up to 38 just by diet. But okay. since then, uh, he's had enormous stresses in his life, uh, uh, even though his diet has improved dramatically. Just wondering if you folks had any uh, any easy things we might try uh, to uh, improve that efficiency. You know, there's a, there's a couple things. You just said a great point right there, is that you've you've raised it from 10 to 38 just with diet alone. What does that tell you? It, it tells you that the body has this innate ability to heal itself. That if you give the body what it needs, it can rise up and become better. If you give the body the right tools and the and the right foods and nutrients, and you reduce the stress, and you get rest in there, and you exercise more, and you get that person in the right environment, they can rise up and become better. They can rise up and be a better version of themselves. The kidneys, the liver, whatever we're talking about, they can regenerate in an amazing way if you give the body what it needs. If if you if you give the body the, the, the bare essentials that it needs. So there's a couple things that I always teach. When you've got anything going on, obviously if it's kidney related, I'm a big fan of getting the nephrologist involved. Like the hat, this is not where you go do, you, you like hack your own health and you talk to me or you go online, you get on Dr. Google and you try to figure it out, right? And you start taking some herb. <clears throat> don't, don't do that. Like I'm begging you, please like do not do that. You really want to get to a place where you can, you, you, you want to get the information, but I'm telling you, with the kidney, you do not want to jack around the kidneys, okay? Like the kidneys and the pancreas, there are certain organ systems in the body that you do not mess with, like critical, okay? And the kidneys is one of them, especially when you're down at that percentage. So whatever eating strategy, whatever plan, whatever foods, whatever's going on that you want to do or they want to do, Talk to the nephrologist first. It's very important that they're involved in that because the protein, there's different theories, okay, about protein intake and how it affects the kidneys. A lot of people in the keto space, physicians, will say that that, that has no correlation, that if you're doing proteins with high carbohydrate, then yes, it, it, it can affect the kidneys. But if you're just doing proteins, and that's the primary nutrient with fats that it will not. So 
there's different thoughts and opinions on that. But again, the nephrologist needs to make the final choice. But I will tell you this, anti-inflammatory based foods, if you get a copy of my book, go to asarx.com. It's free. We'll send it to you. Uh, just cover the shipping and handling. It's, it's all on the website. But we'll send you a hard copy. That'll be a good place to start. You can get the book. You can start to read the book and kind of get a good overall game plan. I mean, it teaches you health, natural health from A to Z. I mean, it's it, it's it's got so many reviews. It's a bestseller on all the lists. It, it's a really good book, not just because I wrote it, but because of the heart behind it is to really help you, guide you through that process of, of how to navigate when you've got a, a situation like this. Because th- this kidney thing, look, it's gone from 10 to 38. Why can't it go to 50? Look, I've seen kidneys recover. I've seen people with really in-stage kidney disease do well. I've seen people that have had, you know, been given, right? Because I don't like this whole thing when when doctors give you time frames to live. I, I just, I know it's ethical and we have to do that in medicine. I, I get all that and I respect it. I just don't like it. Okay? It's my opinion. I just don't like it. I'm a hope guy. So if I've got, if I can find this much hope, I'm going to, I'm going to share the hope with you. If I can find this much, then I want, I'm going to help push you to get to that. And we're going to squeeze every little bit we can out of that little hope bit. And that's just the way I like to operate. So glad you're with us. My name's Asa. This is Asa RX. And, and this show is all about you. It's about your health. It's about your life. It's about taking you from where you are in your current state of health to where you need to be. Our lifestyles are medicine. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. It's not genetics, although they play a little bit of a role, but we're learning now more than ever. It's like 5 or 10%. It is minimal. Okay, your lifestyle is your medicine. The choices that you make today will determine the kind of health you're going to have tomorrow. And guess what? Everything works in decades with our health. So the health that you, or the choices you made 10 years ago, five years ago, are giving you the body that you have right now. Did you know that? So the kidney that you have today is based on the choices you made 10 years ago. And, and guess what? On that note, it takes about 10 years for a tumor to form that's big enough to take you out. It takes about 10 years for an artery to clog to the point where it can take you out. So it takes a long time for the body to to get into a challenging place. But the good news is is if you figure out what the body has going on, you can do things naturally through diet, exercise, eating right, good nutrition, and the right strategies and stress management to get the body to really repair and to heal and to do well. And on this show, that's what we want to help you do in a big, big way. So go to our website, go to asarx.com. And we can help you. Our health coach providers are always there to help you. I've got all kinds of articles and, and blogs. And, and, of course, we've got supplements and our nutritional products. We've got everything there that can encourage you and support you and help you. All right. So now we had a DM come in. If you don't know, it's a direct message, okay? Direct message. People send it to my Instagram which is at Dr. Asa, and, of course, at Twitter. All that stuff is at the website. Go to the website. You can, you can find that, YouTube, all of that. But she says, my husband, who's only 29, okay, is suffering with restless leg syndrome. Isn't that a little young, and, and what can we do for this? All right, so restless leg syndrome is, if, you've never, if you don't know what it is or if you've dealt with it, it's where you're laying down at night, but you can't control the legs twitching and jerking and jumping. So it's terrible for the person it's happening to, but it's even worse for the person laying in the bed with their partner or husband or wife or whatever. It's terrible because the whole bed's shaking, like the leg's shaking, you're over here shaking, everybody's shaking, and it's not fun for anybody, not at all. But I have good news. Yes, you're young, and yes, you're definitely young. But here's two things that are going on. One is your microbiome, which is the environment of the gut, is all jacked up. It just is. It's not functioning at its peak level. It's just not. So the bottom line is you're not getting the minerals and the nutrients that you need to be able to function. Like you're not, and, and, and what that could be could be multiple things. A lot of times it's magnesium, and you got to use a certain kind of magnesium, which is a magnesium glycinate. It could be potassium. It could be a combination of those. It could be sodium. And you're not, your body's not utilizing the right amount of sodium or you're, 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 you got high blood pressure and you're freaked out about sodium, so you completely are off all the salt. That can cause it. So it's kind of like your electrolytes is what we like to call that. But there's multiple things that could be causing that. The biggest thing is, is to go in, number one, dietary-wise, and clear the microbiome out. We have a total body reset. You can call my office and get 
And, of course, it will clear things out in the digestive tract and in the gut. That's number one. Once you do that, it's important to get lab work done to figure out what the core nutritional deficiencies are actually in the body. When you figure out what the core deficiencies are, and again, this may be as simple as magnesium, but it's the right kind of magnesium that we need to look at. There's different kinds. Uh, there's oxide, and there's glycinate, and there's threonate. You know, certain ones go to the brain, certain ones go to the muscle tissue. You have to find out which one it is, if that's even it. Because if you start just pumping minerals, and it's not the right one, you can throw other things off. See, that's why I love testing. We, in our system with all of our health, health coach providers, we test everything. So we know exactly where levels are with people, and we monitor those, and we know what to do to go in and build those back up. So monitoring all of that is the key. But when it comes to restless leg, it's figuring out what minerals and, what, and getting the microbiome functioning better. And when you do that, that's when everything begins to just work like a charm. You clear things up. The body begins to heal. It begins to function at its highest level. And then, again, all that goes away. And then the jerking stops in the bed and the shaking of the leg, and everybody's happy right? And whoever's the shaken one, they're calm and they're able to go to sleep at night. And then whoever is the other one, they're just, they're just thanking Jesus that they're not shaking anymore. Are you ready to chow? It's time for Keto Chow. When it comes to eating healthy, the keto diet has become one of the nutrition leaders in optimizing health, losing unwanted weight, and reaching your health and wellness goals. No extravagant cooking, no long kitchen cleanup, and most importantly, especially for me, it's convenient. Just put quality keto chow powder in a bottle, add some heavy whipping cream or your favorite fat, a little water, and boom, shake it up and you're ready to chow. Keto chow tastes amazing. So make keto chow easy for you and your family today with keto chow. Let's go chow. Visit keto chow online at ketochow.xyz. That's ketochow.xyz. So glad you're with us. Look, this show is about your health. It's about your life. Whatever you're struggling with, remember, you don't have to be stuck where you are. I don't care what you've been diagnosed with. Diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, fibromyalgia. I mean, the list goes on and on, right? But the reality is if the body can get sick, it can also get well. Lifestyles are medicine. So the choices that we make every single day, they can and will determine the kind of health you're going to have. Our choices matter more than anything. It's the greatest power that you have in the palm of your hand right here is the power to choose. You get to do that every single day. I can't make the choices for you, but you can make the choices for you. And that's what I want to help you do here. That's what we want to help you do. That's what the show's all about, is to be able to help you make better choices with your health and with your life. Look, if, if you looked at yourself and examined yourself right now, and I asked you the question, are you doing everything in your life to eat better, to live better, to think better, to reduce stress? And are you doing everything you can to reach your potential, to be the best version of you? What would you say? Would you say yes? Would you raise your hand and say, I'm for sure doing that, Asa? For sure, I would say you're not, and that's okay because most people don't, and I strive every single day to push to be that best version, and I want to do the same for you, so that's what we're doing here on this show, all about you. Now, I get hit a lot with this question, and I'm going to just jump right into it. People want to know what about keto, uh, the keto diet or the ketogenic diet, and I'm a real big fan of the keto diet. I got to tell you, it it really transformed things, and, and I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you that in just a minute because we had an email that came in we uh, Jonathan said in Las Vegas Nevada that his wife has been struggling or diagnosed with hypothyroid which is of course a low thyroid or a slow thyroid and it affects the metabolism in a big way so she's been diagnosed with that and wants to know he wants to know what they can do to help make it better without having to take the medication. All right, now first and foremost, most of the time when you're dealing with a thyroid issue, you're dealing with an iodine issue. Iodine is the trace mineral that is so deficient in our diet, it was taken out in the 1950s, replaced with bromide, and we have so much chlorine in everything, our water supply, what we swim in, what we bathe in, that the chlorine comes in, it blocks the actual receptor site in the body. So even if you do have a little bit of iodine, it blocks it and you can't, the iodine can't get to it because the chlorine's like in the way, okay? So when you have that going on on a regular basis, I mean, that's, that's like the light bulb. If you can get iodine to someone, you can, you can really begin to heal a lot of the thyroid conditions. That's number one. There's a trace mineral deficiency. The other thing along with that, there's other factors, B vitamins, there is tyrosine. There's some other cofactors in there, okay? But the biggest part of that is, is your diet. 
when you have a higher carbohydrate diet, a lot of sugars, insulin's going all over the place throughout the day, it can affect the thyroid in a negative way. What I love about the keto diet, and again, keto is not difficult. Everybody gets all freaked out, keto, and you're going to get sick and tired and whatever. You're not. The ketogenic diet is like one of the healthiest diets that you can be on. Now, I'm not just straight up keto, but I, it's an arsenal. It's something that we use with our health coach providers when people need it. And when you've got hormone-related issues going on, the higher protein, higher fat diet is a better way to go because it stabilizes blood sugar levels in a massive way and allows the hormone systems to work at their peak level because now you're getting enough of the fats and the right kind of fats in on a regular basis. And so that's one of the things you got to look at when it comes to the ketogenic diet. Now, people think it's really difficult, but my friends at Keto Chow, which you can go to ketochowshake.com. That's ketochowshake.com. You've got to check this out. They've got meal replacements that are whole food based that, that are just amazing. They've got a million flavors, so you don't ever get worn out and tired of it. And they're great. You mix it up with water or you mix it up with your favorite fat. You can do it in a 100 different ways, and it tastes amazing. But you do a couple of meals a day, a few shakes a day, and you stay in ketosis. You get plenty of protein, plenty of healthy fats, and it puts you in a state where your hormones in your body can begin to rise up and work in a very balanced manner. Now, this goes beyond just thyroid, like what we're talking about right here. It goes into testosterone levels and estrogen levels and balancing out hormones in every capacity in the body. It's one of the best diet plans to do that. We know that for a fact. But people get scared about it. They think keto and they think difficult. They think they got to be in a kitchen all day long cooking up all kinds of foods and making it all keto perfect. You don't have to. That's why I like Keto Chow. Just check out Keto Chow. Go to KetoChowShake.com. KetoChowShake.com. Check them out. I drink it all the time. Love it. It's one of my favorites, and it's just a, it's a great, easy way to do it. But I would focus in on that type of eating plan because, and if you need help, again, get with our health coach providers. They will help you no matter what. Whatever you're struggling with, they'll help you because you need someone to kind of take you by the hand in that, but it's not that difficult to do. It really isn't. But I would go that route. And iodine, there's a little test you can do with iodine, by the way. So on the test, you can take a little bit of iodine and put it on your skin. It's called a patch test. Now, there's a urine test that's way more accurate. And again, your, your, your practitioner can do that. But on the little patch test, you put a drop of iodine on there. And if it doesn't fade out in over a couple of hours, you're pretty deficient. Okay? But listen, more than anything, just remember, there's always hope. Always hope for better health. Did you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over. But check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the ASA RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.